Hey everybody, real quick before we get started in today's video, we are almost at a thousand subs. Right now we're 60 away, so we're not too far. And I think by the time this video airs, we're gonna be just a little bit closer. So I just wanna say thank you for all those that supported me this whole time. And thank you to the future supporters. Once we hit that 1000 mark, we're gonna do a little giveaway here. I'm not gonna announce anything yet, but once we get there, I'll probably just throw a little giveaway in, in, in the beginning of one of my upcoming videos. But if you can't wait for a thousand sub giveaway to happen, we are doing a giveaway over on my Bearfish Fanatics podcast. We're giving away a Whisker Seeker rod. If you go back to episode 36 with Denny and Spencer, there's going to be details for that giveaway. Other than that, let's just get to the video. Hey, welcome back to my house. I haven't done a catch and cook in a while and I decided since I kept those walleyes, I should probably do a catch and cook. I've, I've never had walleye or I never had fish in an air fryer. And I think this is going to be a good chance to test that out. Mm, I've heard I've heard mixed things about fish in an air fryer, but I just made some uh, chicken wings in the air fryer and it was pretty good. So I'm going to give that a shot. I got my GoPro. I think I'm going to put you guys on top of my head as I clean the fish so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and how I do it before anybody says anything i'm i'm not the best filet i don't keep a whole ton of fish i release most of my fish as you guys have seen i think i do all right or i'm gonna put you guys on top of my head grab the fish get all set up and we'll be cleaning that fish not sure what i'm making exactly but i want to put it in the air fryer all right let's go get the fish real quick got uh yep whoop didn't mean to bump you guys into the doorway all right, let's see here. So I got three walleyes, pretty good size. Well, two of them are pretty good sized. I didn't measure them, but I'm gonna guess that one's pushing 18. Ooh, this one's even fatter. Here's a smaller guy. So I've got two pretty good ones, one smaller guy. Set this back outside. These are bigger than what I normally keep. I usually keep guys like this. Once in a while, I'll keep ones like this. Part of the problem is I don't catch that many bigger walleye. And some of these aren't even that big to some of you, I bet. My counter is kind of uneven. Put a towel down, stop it from sliding around everywhere. I need to wash that towel anyways. Oh, perfect. Got my Mora knife. Double bag for the guts. When I fly fish, I like using a glove. Not because I'm scared I'm going to cut myself. Nobody wants to cut themselves. This just helps me grab onto the fish. You know what? I'm gonna measure these two fish. See, I'm bad at guessing how long a fish is because I don't ever measure fish. I don't really weigh fish because when you measure or weigh fish, post it online, someone's gonna tell you you're wrong. Oh, yeah. That's a good 18 inches. Yep, almost 18. About 18, I think. Not quite 18, close, close to 18. I think some places in the country, 18 is the minimum. And 18 is about as big as I usually want to keep them. So I bled these fish out earlier. And hopefully there's not going to be very much blood left in the filet. Oh, I guess I could walk you guys through what I'm doing. Lift up the peck fin. Try going right behind it. Man, this guy is really full of something his stomach is really full i think it's a he it might be a she bring this up all the way to the spine turn it back and just follow the spine and the rib cage then once you get past the rib cage i just push all the way through and i don't go all the way through yet let me just peel back that filet. There's pin bones right between the rib cage and the meat. So you gotta cut through those. And on a lot of fish, I don't even bother with the rib meat because it's so thin. But since this is a bigger walleye, I'm gonna save. Ooh, it's got eggs. I think I'll take a picture of that real quick. Ooh, look at that butterfly. And people are surprised when they have eggs in the wintertime. But as far as I know, it takes a while to develop all those eggs. They don't just pop up with eggs in the in the springtime. Come on. All right. One fillet off. 
flip the flipper over and just work on separating the meat and then you can feel those pin bones I don't go through the ribs typically because that dulls your knife faster uh oh as soon as I say that I got one of the ribs you follow the rib cage close enough And you salvage that rib meat. All right, you know what? I'm gonna save the eggs. Give that a try. Something about walleye wings too. I don't know. I hadn't really thought this out. Maybe I should have just saved this too. See what this does. Let's fillet this off too. You know what? People like people are talking about the walleye walleye wings. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but or they just save the fins and whatever meats on there. I hadn't planned this out, so uh, yeah, probably didn't save it too well. And then we'll we'll save the eggs. We'll do the eggs. I'm trying to get it to where I don't break the the sack. Okay, that's one half of it. Other half. Cut that off. Oh, there is the egg. We're gonna try the egg. I've had the egg before, but I've never had it on camera. <laughs> and I don't think there's too many videos of people eating the eggs on YouTube. You know what, let's just see what's in the gut. Doesn't feel like anything's in there. Let's get the cheek. People always say you gotta save the cheek. Cheek's okay, it's so tiny. But like I said, I don't keep a lot of big fish. So all the cheeks that I do end up eating aren't very big. Either that or I'm not doing it right. Pretty sure someone will tell me I'm not doing it right. Oh man, I am butchering this. Uh, that's terrible. We'll do the other side. See if the other side is better. Peel that back. And you kind of just peel it off. Yeah, I'll use this hand. There. There we go. One walleye cheek. One and a half. If people scale this part, I'm gonna guess that they don't. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna flay this though. I didn't go too far down the belly. I'm just trying to maximize this fish. Piece of belly. I should probably fillet this off. Eh, it's so thin anyways. And I don't think I got any of the um um, the gut fluid on this, I think I'll be all right. We'll be fine. Now for the fillets themselves. I think I'm gonna zipper, zipper these two after I take the skin off. Flip that over, boom, fillet. I uh, left a little bit of meat on there. Nope, just toss that in there. See the thing about walleyes is they don't want to slide back this way, but they'll slide this way real easy. So if you push the flay this way, they just glide. But when if you want to pull them this way, they do not move. Maybe I should flay from the top. That way this fillet isn't freaking sliding all over the place. Might have to try that on the next one. But I think I did a better job on this, this side. So I'm going to zipper this. Oh, just like a zipper easy and then i think the bones the bones are gonna be right here right oh yeah yeah i feel them oh wait where the heck did the bones go oh yeah the bones are in this part okay i see you now i'm just gonna try to follow the fillet as close as i can i don't know how far back the bones go right here you know what? It doesn't matter. But there's the strip of bones that are in the fillet. One boneless, two boneless pieces of meat right here. Oh, that white claw isn't mine, by the way. <laughs> my roommates. Oh, there. That's easier. We're just. Come on. Boom. Size is boneless, it should be. 
And the bone, yep, I can feel it right here. There's a line of bones. So I'm just gonna cut that out. I think it stops right around here. I guess that's how you do a wally. Uh, a couple of those steps are kind of extra for me that I normally don't zipper them. I just cut cut that section of meat out. And I normally never save the, the bottom of the belly or those wings as they call them. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do those two other fish. You guys already saw this one. I don't wanna bore you with the whole thing again, but we'll catch up in a bit. So I just got done getting the flays off of this fish and I no noticed the stomach's pretty full. Let's see what's in here. And I think this one's a male. I didn't see any eggs. Uh, it was just a tad shorter than that uh, first fish I did. But since I'm here, take these off. Oh, it kind of feels like rubber. I should probably do this after I get the flays off. But that's why you wash them, right? Oh, this is gross. Let's see what's in here. What is this? What is this? Oh, is that a shiner? I don't know what that is. I think it's some kind of shiner. Maybe a shed. Uh, we'll throw this in here. No, psych. Man, look at all this fat. I'm trying to store up all this fat for winter. Let's try the filet again on this one. Or not the filet, the cheek. All right, I think I did a lot better this time. I can actually see it. And then just peel it right off. Oh, little morsel, a nugget. I'm gonna try taking the filet off starting this way. See if that is better. I feel like it will be because I won't push the filet this way because it doesn't like going this way. But if I push it this way, see it slides towards the front of the filet a lot easier. And I'm thinking it's gonna be a little easier to take it off the skin. That's my theory anyways. The, the skin isn't gonna be sliding with the filet. But if you wanna pull it towards you, It'll easily come towards you. Oh man. Wow. That worked out pretty dang good. Hmm, make a wallet out of this. I think I've seen someone do that. Let's do that again. Just to make sure it's not a fluke. Oh, let's flip it over. Nice. I didn't get that, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna finish prepping this one. I'm gonna zipper it out again, get the bones out, do that little guy, then we'll go from there. All right, there it is. One filet, two, three, four, five filets, sack of eggs, some belly meat, some uh, cheek meat, some wings, rinse all of these. Even though I bled out all the fish, I'm gonna soak them in salt water anyways. This, I ain't worried about this. It, ain't, it isn't gonna ruin the filet for me. This is like the most fillets I've ever had in a while. Here comes the salt. That should make the water a little, oop, oop, more than I wanted. Or actually, that's pretty good, since I got so many fillets in here. This is gonna sit in the fridge for a day, maybe two. Depends how lazy I am. Hmm, got some chicken that I need to make. Since trash day is on Thursday, and today is Saturday, I do not want this sitting in my garbage for six days. Even though it's kind of cool out, it's probably still gonna stink. So just like I did all my catfish, clean and cook. These are gonna go in the freezer. Well, there you have it, me cleaning some walleyes. I don't think I've cleaned walleye on video yet, but that's how I do it. Uh, I was kind of experimenting with a few things too, trying to maximize the amount of meat I, get, I can get off of there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the air fryer. Maybe I'll deep fry some too. Do like a little side-by-side -side comparison. See what I like better. And the eggs, I'll probably deep fry the eggs. I'll let you guys know how that goes. You guys will see it. But that's not gonna be for a couple days. So catch you guys in a couple days. All right, so it's been a couple days and I'm finally ready to cook that fish. So here I got a air fryer. I got a deep fryer there. So I'm gonna, I never tried air frying fish before. So I'm gonna try to do like a little comparison. I just started using this air fryer for, for some fried chicken and it worked out pretty good. So I got some of this catch and cook batter. I got some in that little baggie already. Kind of started over, 
with this, but I got I got some walleye eggs in there right now. And look, you can't even tell it's walleye eggs. It just looks like uh, <laughs> a fish stick. I don't think I've seen any videos of people eating walleye eggs on YouTube yet. Oh, there, there's probably a few. Oh, people eat the fish, fish eggs all the time. Asian countries, they do. So it's not really not that big of a deal for me. Uh, I don't really do it that often. For some of you guys, it might be like, <gasps> whoa, gross, eggs, fish eggs. So while the oil is heating up, I'm just gonna go ahead and put those eggs into the basket. I don't know the angle kind of sucks, but it's kind of hard doing this by yourself. Got your fish eggs right there. Back over here, I think I'm gonna do these three in the deep fry. Those two in the deep fry. I think I'm just gonna do these wings or whatever. Man, I have no idea what they're supposed to look like. I don't know if you're supposed to take the skin off. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just winging it. We'll do these three pieces. Got a random cheek. And I think this is the belly right here. So these are all gonna go into the deep fryer. Okay, cool, deep fryer's loaded up and I just gotta wait for that little light to turn off and when that turns off, the oil's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those ready for the air fryer, the rest of the fish. And what I was reading is you wanna batter your fish and then spray cooking oil on it. You know, good thing I had this spray on canola oil. I think you batter it and then spray it. I think that's how you do it. So then the oil's gonna be really messy if you put it on the fish and then batter it. But before I do that, the oil is ready. Put the lid on. Once that goes for a couple more seconds, I usually give it a shake so the fillets aren't sticking together. So that shouldn't take too long. Maybe like, not even, I don't know, 10 minutes. All right, that's all the flakes for the air fryer. So I'm just gonna spray these down. I don't know, I don't even know how much to use. I'm gonna flip them over. That looks good to me. So I'm just gonna place these in the hopper. All right, here we go, into the air fryer. I think the deep fryer ones are ready. Yeah, they're floating. I'm gonna call it good. So while those cool, I'm just gonna leave them there. Fish is in the air fryer. Turns baby on. I've seen temperatures range from 350 to 400. You know, we'll just use this one, 15 minutes. Sure, we'll do that. We'll just use the fish setting. <laughs> so there's no guessing. Then I think I'm gonna go in there and flip it after halfway through. All right, it's beeping. Let's take a peek real quick. I think I need to flip them over and give them a few more minutes. Having a hard time here. The belly meat's falling apart. I'm gonna call that one done. It's going on the plate. So I'm gonna stick back that back in there for, we'll give it for five. You know what, since I'm gonna wait for the rest of it to cook, I'm gonna try the air fried walleye cheek. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like fried fish. I don't know. Guess I gotta try the uh, deep fried walleye cheek that I think I overcooked a little bit. Deep fried one was more crispy, but it was also cooking longer. All right, done beeping. Okay, let's take a peek. Hmm, looks cooked. <laughs> Get a plate of food real quick. Food's ready for whenever you're hungry. I'm gonna go get some rice. I can't, I can't do both. I can't hold you guys and, and get rice at the same time. You want me to hold it for you? <laughs> no, it's okay, Dara. I want you to be in front of the camera. Here's the fish eggs. Dara, you gotta eat the fish egg too. Looks just like a piece of meat. I think that's the back strap, belly meat. And one, two, three, four. That's a weird, that's a weird number. And over here, <laughs> grab one of these. The wings, fish wings, Dara. And I got some cucumber salad over here. Made this before I did the video. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm not confident in in how to make this, so that's why I didn't show it. Come on over to the table. These are the air fried ones. You know, I'm gonna try this. I try this first. Eat the food. Hmm. Pretty crispy. Not sure if you're supposed to eat that part. It was pretty good. Ooh. I don't know how clear that is for you guys. Not super greasy, which is nice. The wings are pretty good. It's like a fattier part of the fish. I think I see why people like it. It has more fat down here. There's the bone, just suck the meat off of it, I guess. This is what they call mukbang, where you guys just sit there and watch me eat. Hmm, air fryer, pretty good. The regular deep fryer, I think is the tail section. Actually, this ain't that greasy either. The deep fried one is a lot crispier, but maybe because I cooked it longer, I don't know, it wasn't exact, an exact science. I have my rice because I'm Asian. Mm. Mm. Cucumber salad's okay. Kind of plain, I think. Oh yeah, gotta do the fish egg. All right. There's the fish egg. Dar, you gotta eat the egg too. The rest of the fish is yours from both. It's all yours. The eggs, the eggs don't really taste like anything. It'll probably be a texture thing more than more than anything for most people. I thought it'd be more fishy. Cause sometimes the fish eggs can be pretty fishy, but it doesn't really taste like anything. It kind of just crumbles in your mouth. I'm trying to think of the texture. Grits? I think grits would be a good comparison. You ever have grits, Adara? Yeah. Would you say the texture of fish eggs is kind of the same? We'll start with the uh, start with the fish eggs. Eggs are fine. I think since they're so smooth, the batter doesn't really stick to them, so it's kind of plain. Which one's the fish egg? That is the fish egg right there. Right here. <laughs> yeah. See your impression of the fish eggs. Have you ever had fish eggs? I've had it in sushi. Yeah, it kind of just crumbles, right? Would you say it's like grits, the texture? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would. That's a grits. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of grits. Not too fishy. I thought it was gonna be fishier because sometimes I've had had some pretty fishy fish eggs, but it is fish eggs, so I don't know what you're expecting. I expect them to be bigger. Oh, like the actual individual eggs? Yeah, yeah. Like the salmon roll. The salmon roll. Yeah. 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 Catfish eggs are kind of big, but you eat the fins. It tastes like chips. Yeah, I'm gonna try the air fried back strap. It's not as crispy, but it does the job. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I'm not gonna make you guys watch us eat the whole thing. Even though that is a thing on YouTube where you just sit there and watch people eat. Yeah, I'd say air fryers, pretty good. I don't think it beats the deep fry as far as like crunchiness. Just for the, I guess, health. It's kind of a wash, really. It depends if you want like mess of oil. Yeah. Or you want like something simple and kind of quick. It is easier to clean up the air fryer. And I feel like it's faster too because you don't have to wait for any oil to heat up. So that's going to do it. If you guys like the video, give it a like if you want to see more. Hit that subscribe button. What's up, Dara? <laughs> yes? Everybody else, Dara, my roommate? <laughs> He's kind of camera shy, I think. <laughs> huh? He says he's too swole for the camera, so he's, he's gonna go hide. Bye, Dara.